We are at Narcissus. I'm here with John Frazier. Thank you so much for having me here. So today we're talking about rotisserie vegetables. So you guys have become known for having these great rotisserie vegetables. It was a process of discovery, so we know that putting potatoes uh, underneath chicken is not just a good really taste right. right? So starting with that, um, we started to look at what other ways we could use the vegetable in the rotisserie, right? So we basically have three methods. Um, one is just that, so it's, it's a, some kind of vegetable underneath the protein. It's being basted by the fat coming off the protein. And so in our case, we use um, potato underneath a ribeye steak. Um, it sits on there for about two and a half hours. Uh, the second is, is simply rotisserie, as if it was a protein vegetable, and that it stays on for about four hours. It goes on the lowest setting of the rotisserie, and that is basted. And uh, meaning it's basted with um, an orange oil, uh, salt, all the way through. Right? And I think for a lot of people, you know, when they think of rotisserie, they think of like chicken going around. Um, so I think that, you know, starting this whole thing about rotisserie, the one thing is you can't set it and forget it, right? It's the whole thing people are sort of, in America, and you would believe that you put it in there and you turn your back and you come back and it's, it's ready to go. It's simply not true. Um, it is a, a way of cooking and cooking is an act. So it's a lot like a slow oven, right? Um, except that there's a dry side, meaning um, there's a part where the vegetable is actually cooling spinning, right? So it's cooling on one side and, and cooking on the next, right? So through that process, um, it takes longer, right? Which means that um, as we're looking to do, which is extract more flavor, we found that there's some nuance in the outside of the vegetable versus the inside. So the char versus the meat. The machinery almost is important. I think so, unfortunately. I mean, I can just <laughs> see myself trying to do it at home with like a couple of coat hangers <laughs> over a uh, over, uh, open flame. Um, I think I think that it, and, and also the steady flame, the heat, the heat doesn't change, it's steady all the way through. And so what are some of the vegetables that you think really take well to the rotisserie? You mentioned the beef, which you right. have that great outside and that soft interior. What right. are some of the other vegetables that you try on the rotisserie and you're like, oh yeah. Right. So almost anything that grows in the ground. So things like uh, yeah, onions, uh, parsnip, parsley roots, carrot, all the way through that sort of that, that aisle in the, in the grocery store is great on a rotisserie. A great slow roasted, really. Interesting lettuces, um, escarole, um, anything that can take long heat, right? Um, really, really does well. Things that don't do well yeah, are those that burn quickly, right? right? So, and, and those that are too thin. So, like baby leeks, there's no reason for them to be there as long as a large leek, right? A large leek goes well, right? So, but what you're really looking for is that that part on the outside which may get burnt or charred, and the part on the inside which may become. Sauces that go with these vegetables. Because obviously, you know, you could start from playing with some salt and pepper, but you, know, you tend to, you know, with the beef, you have the horseradish sauce. I mean, what do you think goes well because it's such an aggressive char? Right. How do you pair the sauce? Right. So, um, because they're char, char by, by nature is usually bitter, yeah. right? So, what we try to do is pair them with things that are slightly sweet or spicy, mm -hmm. right? So, in the instance of the beef, um, also the other part of it is that. Um, is somewhat challenging in a way that it's sort of this big chart you know, piece of root vegetable that no one really understands. And we wanted to put it, put it with something that people might understand very easily, like horseradish. Right. So, that, yeah, exactly. Right? Um, and fattiness also is, is a good thing. The fattiness of the crème fraîche sort of tames down the char inside. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to really explain to us the technique of root vegetable. Thank you so much.